They said India couldn't do it. A country that once imported every aircraft dared to dream of building its own. From failures and delays to global recognition, this is the story of how India created a fighter jet that shocked the world. Sleek, agile, deadly. The HAL Tejas isn't just a jet. It's a symbol of India's determination to fly on its own wings. But what did it take to build a supersonic fighter from scratch? And can the Tejas really stand among the world's best? It all began in 1983. The Indian Air Force needed a replacement for its aging MiG-21 fleet, and India wanted to build that jet indigenously. Thus was born the Light Combat Aircraft LCA program, a project led by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. The mission was simple in words, but monumental in reality. Design and produce a fourth-generation supersonic fighter made entirely in India. Back then, India lacked modern aerospace infrastructure, experience, and access to high-end technology. Yet what followed was one of the boldest experiments in aviation history. Throughout the 1990s, the Tejas project faced turbulence. The biggest challenge was the engine. India's own Kaveri jet engine couldn't deliver enough thrust. So, India turned to the American GE F404 engine to power its prototypes. Then came sanctions after India's 1998 nuclear tests, cutting off critical technologies and delaying progress even further. But the engineers at HAL refused to give up. They developed indigenous flight control systems composite materials, and aerodynamics that rivaled international standards. Over 45% of the Tejas airframe is made of carbon fiber composites, making it lightweight, strong, and corrosion resistant. Finally, on January 4, 2001, India's dream took to the sky. The Tejas made its first flight, a moment that changed Indian aviation forever. After that historic flight, the journey was far from over. The Indian Air Force demanded more tests, more improvements, and complete reliability. Over the next decade, engineers refined everything, from flight software to radar and weapons integration. The Tejas was designed to be unstable by design, meaning it relies on an advanced digital fly-by-wire system to remain stable in flight. This made it extremely agile and capable of sharp maneuvers in dogfights. In 2011, the Tejas achieved initial operational clearance, and by 2015, it received final operational clearance. India officially had its first indigenous supersonic fighter jet ready for combat. Let's talk about what sets the Tejas apart. It's compact, fast, and built for multi-role missions, from air defense to precision strikes. The Indian government signed a 48,000 crore contract in 2021 for 83 Tejas MK-1A jets, ensuring large-scale production and upgrades to follow. The first MK-1A deliveries are expected around 2025, marking the next phase in India's indigenous defense manufacturing. When compared to other light fighters, the Tejas stands strong. It's smaller, but highly agile, perfect for interception, close air support, and dogfights. Against the JF-17, it offers better radar, avionics, and build quality. Against the Gripen, it competes closely in performance but costs far less. More importantly, every new version of Tejas feeds into India's next projects, like the Tejas MK2 and the ANCA, a fifth-generation stealth fighter 
currently in development. The Tejas has now entered service with multiple Indian Air Force squadrons, including the number 45 Flying Daggers and number 18 Flying Bullets. It's also gaining international interest. Countries like Argentina, Egypt, and the Philippines have shown intent to evaluate the Tejas for export. With HAL ramping up production and new variants on the way, India's aviation industry is finally taking flight. The story of the Tejas is more than just engineering. It's a story of pride, perseverance, and patience. What began as an impossible dream became a national milestone, proving that India can design, build, and fly world-class aircraft. The Tejas is not just a jet, it's a message to the world. Innovation can't be imported. It must be built one challenge at a time. So what do you think? Has the Tejas truly earned its place among the world's elite? Or is its greatest version yet to come? Let us know your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Every subscription inspires our team to keep researching, exploring, and bringing you even more mind-blowing engineering contents. Stay tuned, because the future of engineering has only just begun, and we can't wait to share it with you. See you in the next video.